Hi, welcome back. Every gardening season starts with seeds, and because I live in cold climate with short growing season, I start most of my seedlings indoors. And for this purpose, I set up a grow room upstairs on the attic of my house. There is a skylight window in here, but I still it's still not enough light for my plants. So I do supplement it with some shop lights. So I have three shelf units with lights attached over here on this side of the room. And then I have few more on the other side over there. In the winter time, it's too cold here and too hot in the summer. But right now in the spring, it's perfect temperature for the seeds to sprout and for the seedlings to grow. It's about 65 to 70 degrees. So let's see what I'm growing here. The first shelf unit over here, um, on the top, I have a lot, a lot of eggplants. I love eggplants so much. I love eating them and growing too. This year I'm growing three varieties. One is called Black Beauty, which is a really dark skinned eggplant. It matures in 80 days, one of the most popular eggplants over there. It's an open pollinated heirloom variety. It gives an impressive yield of harvest. The other variety I think is called uh, Italian eggplant, which looks a lot like the standard globe eggplant you'll find in the grocery store. But it's slightly smaller and the flesh is tender. And the third variety, it's called um, Rosa Bianca, a beautiful pink, almost lavender kind of color variety. 70 days maturity. It's an Italian heirloom, very creamy and tender, not bitter at all. And on the second shelf, I have more eggplants. So you can see I couldn't fit all of them on the top. That's how much I like eggplants. And then I have some kale here. Um, it's a walking stick kale, which is uh, super tall. Um, it's the first year I'm growing and hopefully I like it. And this is an artichoke, traditional globe artichoke. And a few cucumbers here. I grow a lot of cucumbers, so there is more on the bottom shelf. With cucumbers, I grow, I think, four or five varieties. Uh, National Pickling, Garden Giant, Persian Cucumber, Lemon Cucumber. Uh, I can't remember the rest. I really like Persian Cucumbers for eating. Their skin is soft, no need to peel it. They're good for salads and sandwiches. But I also like to do a lot of pickling and fermenting. And for this purpose, I grow National Pickling Cucumber. Um, they are so good when they are small and tiny. So that was the first shelf unit. Now let's take a look what's growing on the second one. And here I have some calendula seedlings. I love growing calendula. It's a good companion plant for vegetables and a great medicinal herb. Also, I have some onions here and some broccoli. This is purple sprouting broccoli. And this one is another broccoli called Batavia. It's an early heading broccoli. And next are my peppers. And I grow a ton of peppers because I love spicy food. So this one is Serrana hot pepper. Um, I also grow pepperoncini, ghost pepper, a lot of um, bell peppers. A couple of weeks ago, I posted a video where I showed how I topped some of my peppers. Basically, I just cut the top off and now we can see how they are doing and what is the difference between the ones I topped and those I didn't. So over here, you can see how um, many side shoots are growing on the one I topped. And here's another one. It's really, really branched out, really good. Um, a lot of good growth. Now let's find some that I haven't pruned. Uh, this one, for example, you can see how there's only one stem. No branching is happening. It's just growing upwards. So pruning or topping peppers really helps with branching. So that was the second shelf. Now let's take a look at the other one. And this one is uh, with tomatoes. And I love growing tomatoes even more than eggplants and peppers because there's so much you can do with them. I love canning tomato sauces, making my own hot sauce. And for that, I grow a lot of tomatoes. 
Even though I have small yard, I try to fit as many as I can. This year I have about 50 plants. I think five varieties. One is purple bumblebee. It's a bronzy purple with lime green. Um, beautiful and sweet. Another one is old German, uh, which is a great big slicing tomato, orange red. Um, another one is um, San Marzano, an Italian classic heirloom tomato, which is great for sauces, for canning and drying. I also grow, grow a yellow pear and cherry tomatoes for salads and snacking. As you can see, my tomatoes are getting big. They have outgrown this shelf and the solar cups. I need to transplant them soon. Um, so in my next video, I'll show you how I am potting up my tomato seedlings and how I feed them. So thank you for watching and have a happy growing. Mm -hmm.